They last met internationally at the Star Contender event in Doha in January when Matsushima came out on top three games to two against Ali Martok. This time there is a final on the line at stake. So here we go. Some of the shots which Matsushima has been making today have been absurd. Does cut this wonderfully relaxed figure out on the table. He puts his right hand on his hip as he gets ready. Very rarely looks flustered. He's a temperamental opposite to Tomokazu Harimoto, of course, gets extremely animated. It's well documented and acts as the hype man for himself and for any teammates in doubles. And so is the opposite. what makes them potentially such good teammates in doubles and certainly a fascinating matchup when they face each other in singles speed of the ball and this one is uh, right up there they're both knocking this back over with real speed a specific contact point on the ball and he ends up not finding it at all it's a clever serve isn't it from Matsushima not always about the spin that's on the ball it's more about the spin you can convince your opponent is on the ball it might be that it's an empty shot that there's not much on it all that you've concealed uh, an outrageous amount whatever it is it's that gap between what your opponent thinks there is and what there actually is that makes the difference and Tsushima got that right much wrist involved there. In fact, it was all wrist. Two points away from Matsushima. Obviously, Matsushima gets compared to Harimoto and Harimoto to Matsushima about where they are in their development and who might be the, the greater long-term concern for the Chinese. 
And you wonder who that affects the most. Is that more a problem for Tomokazu or for Soda? They both have to handle it. They both have to deal with it. Animoto has handled these last three points the better. He has a game point. Harimoto's game. To Harimoto. And wrapped up in that, an important psychological blow coming from behind against Matsushima as well. But he would have gotten an adrenaline spike after losing that game, Matsushima. Can he harness that? Injection into the bloodstream of an extra dose of excitement, of frustration. National titles, Tamokazu Harimoto, but the last of those are coming two years ago now. Two years without a win, without a title win on the WTT circuit. It's a long time. Switching between forehand and backhand was Matsushima and Tomokazu preferred just that forehand force. And he made it tell. Coming out on top of these longer exchanges, Harimoto. Just careened into the bat of Harimoto. He didn't take a swing at that at all. It just struck him before he realized it. This is the adrenaline talking from Matsushima. Channeling it into his forehand. Hey, Moto luring Matsushima on the back end. Very nicely after the clip of the net. He was in a similar position in the first game. Can he convert this? Time for a new mentality for Matsushima. Well, he's going to get the uh, game point opportunity. And four of them. LP 
be a cold bead of sweat down the neck of Soto Matsushima right now. Three of the four vanishing into thin air. One game point remaining. Right time for a timeout. I think so. A little part of him. Once again, we've got a not quite the conditions. The music was blaring. Still game point. Always got it this time. Matsushima does get game number two. And he called that time out at the right time and played the and game in the books for Matsushima. He'll open up in the third. Wow. Wow. Wild swerve through the air. Harimoto with a massive swing and a massive miss. One, two. That was insane from Matsushima. Three, one. And he's building off that nicely. Can you even see the ball when these two play like this? Matsushima missing. A game of peace and things are starting to hot up now. Again, the aggressive swerve. Getting so low down, Harimoto to fire these forehands off. He's just about the taller of the two. Harimoto. I'd say that Soda has some growing to do still. But maybe not in the height department. He's already a, a well-built young man. comes next. Uh, Touch game was good. It's clever from Hanimoto. It's not often held up as a, a bastion of smart touch play. Well, that was nice. Well managed. This is looking good. Looking particularly good for Harimoto.
Yeah. It's Matsushima who blinks first in that exchange. Gets it all wrong, though. 9-5 for Harimoto. shot quite often in this game has not been there for Matsushima. It was on that occasion. Matsushima sticking put and dishing up shots like this. Eventually, it goes wide. Wow. Four points for the game for Harimoto. And Matsushima rather concedes that one. His head's already in game number four. That's what's coming next. It's Harimoto with a 2-1 Finals mode ahead of tomorrow, Yukiya Uda, the man in the singles final already. But he's capable of anything, this 17-year-old Matsushima. Thing he needs to add in this match a little bit more of his on some of the bigger points an ability to get through them in the same manner in which he gets to the big points because he looks so relaxed on the way Harimoto at such speed. Five, one. Great start for Matsushima. Blistering pace to the overall match, not just the shots that each of these two are making. Played into the body and uh, Matsushima with a five point lead. All out attack from the young man. 8 2. The reaction has been just what was needed. Harimoto seems subdued for the first time in the match. Takes a lot to do that. Talk about keeping 
opponents quiet in sport, don't we? But when it's Harry Moto, you actually do keep him literally quiet when things are going your way, as they are here for Matsushima. 10-2. Oh, wow. There are speed cameras in tuners that have had to be readjusted so they don't get set up. He's had to chase the match. Down by one, then down 2 1. One love. He beat Hanimoto 3 2 earlier this year in Doha. Second victory. Six months later. It would be quite the statement. In getting to that point, it's going to be enjoyable, though. That is for sure. Crucially for Harimoto, he's starting well. So what Matsushima can do when he built up a lead in the last game. And they go at it again in the fifth game. Matsushima edging that one. Blow and counter blow. And a timeout calls. It's so good to watch. And Harimoto has that in abundance too. Just has a, an extra layer of tactical application perhaps. Will it be enough? That's the question. Anticipation of, uh, of the highest order from Matsushima, but Harimoto who levels it up. Match clock reads 33 minutes to get to this point. Oh. Great control off the backhand here, steering this out of harm's way from Harimoto. Two-point gap, Matsushima, he's been here before in those first two games. The first one he lost 
Hanimoto came roaring back with four points in a row. Second one, he almost spurned. Had to call a timeout. Well, he doesn't have any of those anymore. And it's going to get a bit better for him. But he's looking right at the victory now. Will that cause him to flinch? Harimoto will play up to that as much as he can. 6-9 down. Nine, and he'll get one back. The entertainment factor not on their minds at the moment. It's still entertaining. It's still great table tennis. And it's still Harimoto. Resolute in the mind. And Matsushima most certainly has work to do on that front. Particularly against this opponent. Against a man of his own country. Against someone who he's so often compared to. Who no doubt he looks up to. <laughs> and Tomokazu Harimoto has played that to his advantage. He's played it brilliantly to this point, a match point. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even Tomokazu has to smile. All out on the forehand to win this, and then this comes back. 10 each. Got to win by two. Johnny! Come on! Match point again. It has been table tennis worthy of the Royal Court of Japan. But Tomokazu Harimoto shows he is still the king over this young...